ladies and gentlemen, <sighs> gentlemen and ladies, ladies and gents, welcome to the Redress Right channel. You know, haven't done a lot of videos lately on the Redress Right channel, and that's about to change. As a matter of fact, we're going to do exclusive videos on the Redress Right channel for a moment because we've got to promote this channel. Do you want to promote it? Do you want to use chat gpt to promote your channel do you have that tired i don't feel like being around anybody feeling well then try vita meetup vegemin that's vita meetup vegemin it has pumped too it pepped you right up ha <laughs> lucille mcgillicuddy i apologize for that he hasn't had his meds today so you guys will have to excuse him He'll be coming in and out um, because that's his consciousness. We, we're we going to ask a question, and I'm positive in this short video that many of you will get the understanding. As I said, we're going to focus on some laws on this channel. One second, ladies and gentlemen. Police officers are public officials and are required to be bonded while in office. Stop listening. And it says police officers are public officials and may be required to obtain a surety bond before taking office. This bond is a statutory obligation that guarantees faithful performance of the duty of the officers. The amount of the bond varies, blah, 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 blah. Now watch this. Civilian Service Reform Act now, let's read that right there. Bonding requirements are subject to the Labor Management Reporting and Disclosure Act. See, they have to give you that information. And the Civil Service Reform Act with unions whose property and annual receipts do not exceed $5,000 being exempt from this requirement, which means police are not. But they're a nonprofit organization, so they could be. No, they're not a nonprofit organization. Police organizations are for profit organizations. Now, what is a public? Why do police officers need to be bonded? Can we click on that one? You guys want to see? Y'all are going to love this. Trust me, not not this part right here. <laughs> Wait till you see where I'm going with that. How some of you think you know, but you don't know. Because you don't know what you don't know unless you know what you don't know. And then that way you do know, but then you really don't know because you can't possibly know what you don't know. There are knowns and then there are known knowns and then there are known unknowns, but there's never a known known unknown because there could not possibly be a known known unknown known known. You know? That's what I'm talking about. Police officers need to be bonded in order to provide protection against losses if their union has property or annual financial receipts that exceed $5,000. Bonding is a type of insurance agreement which guarantees reimbursement to the union for any financial losses caused by fraudulent or dishonest acts by officers and employees. Ladies and gentlemen, it's not just the union, it's the public as well. Okay? Now, what is a police officer's bond and how do police officers bond works? Let's see the working part. I'm interested. Let's go to work. Okay. Under the Labor Management Reporting Act, this uh, Reporting Disclosure Act and Civil Service Reform Act, police officers must have a bond to guarantee that they can respond to damages if they fail to perform their duties in accordance with the law. The minimum bonding requirement is 10%. Bonding requirements do not apply to union, blah, blah, blah. Bonds must be filed with the Department of State Police and premiums paid out for appropriated, of appropriated funds. All bonds must be approved, blah, 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 blah. <clears throat> Can I give you guys a scenario? Pull over. Yes, what can I do for you, officer? License and registration? Yes, uh, while I give you my license and registration, could you provide me with your bond and your license information? Um, yeah, I'm going to need that because I'm going to be reporting injury. What injury are you reporting? Well, I'm reporting the fact that you're interfering with my right to travel and my pursuing happiness. I've been pursuing happiness for so long, 
you have no idea how difficult it is for me to be pursuing happiness and for somebody just to interfere with that. So here's my license and registration and I'll wait here while you get me your bonding information so that I can file that claim against your bond later today. Hello? And anybody out there, can y'all hear me? Can, can y'all hear me? Has anybody ever told y'all to file a, a claim against a police officer's bond when they sit up here and violate your rights because they're operating in commerce? Can I show you guys something else? A license is a contract between parties and requires consent. Stop listening. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. Licensing agreements are legal contracts between two parties, a licensor and a licensee. They stipulate the type of agreement and length of the relationship, payments and royalty dues to the extent in which the licensing is allowed. A successful license agreement requires competent legal and tax advice, as well as an understanding of the rights guaranteed by the license. The license contract or licensing agreement are used to get the rights to someone else's protected property. So pay attention, ladies and gentlemen. Wake up. An application for a driver's license, comma, is in contract. That requires consent. Question mark. Stop listening. Ladies and gentlemen, we're not going to go past 10 minutes, but I guarantee you, this piece of junk is going to try to not say that a license is not a contract when it, a uh, driver's license, when it just told us that a license is a legal agreement. It's a contract between parties. One second. Tick tock, tick tock. Because they have to go at the party line. Driver's license agreement requires all, requires all states to honor licensing issues to member states Report traffic convictions, licensing, blah, blah, blah. A driver's license, a valid driver's license can is a condition of the agreement and blah, blah, blah. Okay, that one ain't it. Uh-uh, that, that one ain't it. So let's see if we can expand it. I told you it was going to do that, didn't I? <sighs> driver's license contracts does not require consent. Yes, it does. That's why you need to sign. A driver's license agreement is an interstate compact written between the joint executive board of the driver's license compact and the non-resident violator compact. Really, non-resident violator compact. Interesting, and it requires all states to honor. <laughs> oh, Lord. So, ladies and gentlemen, I said we weren't going to go over 10 minutes. Look, when a police officer pulls you over and they require that you have a driver's license, if you're engaged in commerce, you are required to have a driver's license. If you are not engaged in commerce, that is your right to travel. Your right to travel, the government cannot force you to contract. The government cannot force you to contract. All contracts must be voluntary, so they can't force you. And if you're exercising a right, they cannot convert that right to a privilege by charging you a fee to exercise that privilege. Now, hold on now, I made a bunch of statements there. You're gonna have to put those statements in and test them out and get your cases to support that, okay? But these are the facts that you did not know. Do your research, people. So, if a peace officer or a judge interferes with your rights, and yes, I don't care if they get mad at me for telling you this, that's why they are bonded. That's why they are bonded, people. They have a contract. They have insurance. Sue their insurance. Too many suits against their insurance, technically two suits against their insurance, will have them lose that policy. Don't be vindictive. Don't be mean. Don't be vengeful, people. Stay in the right. Treat them with respect. Do not disrespect them because they are people too, believe it or not. Treat them with respect. Give them the warning and then ask them for the information. Gotta go, 10 minutes.